everyone, it's your girl China aka China Wine and welcome to my castle. Today we're going to be seeing where will you be in one year from now, okay? So pile one is Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery with the number eight. Pile two is Koala Spirit, Spirit has a plan with the number 35 which is also eight. And pile three is Turtle Spirit, Slow and Steady Wins the Race, with the number 62, also eight. Spirit did the synchronicity, not me. <laughs> All right, so pick your pile and I will see you there. What is up, my pile ones? If you chose Bobcat Spirit, Life is a Mystery, then congratulations, you have found your pile. And we're just gonna get right into where you will be in one year from now okay so first we have the hierophant um hierophant is taurus then we have the six of pentacles in reverse which is also ruled by taurus so a lot of a lot of taurus energy here a lot a lot a lot and then we have this card which is actually one of the little um the little cards added to the deck that's not actually part of tarot but it came out for y'all so you are a bad i'm not gonna say a bad bleep <laughs> being full of life love and possibilities through this deck may you find a path to your best self okay all right so let's talk about this for oh bottom of the deck my fault my fault the high priestess which is cancer energy um and death which is scorpio energy okay so yeah let's talk about this first so in a year from now you all will be completely unrecognizable to yourselves it's like the whole vibe i'm getting with in a year from now is something that your brain right now does not even allow you to like think that you'd be able to make it there and for some of you, I'm hearing in only a year. So to you all, a year is not that much time. A year is not enough time for you to even be able to set such high expectations on yourselves as, you know, what you're actually going to achieve is like way beyond your expectations of yourself. That's why I see like, that's why life is a mystery is here because it's like, this is something like you wouldn't even be able to fathom. It's like when you get to that 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 year from now um you're gonna be like how did i get here <laughs> in a good way though you're gonna be like wow like this is crazy everything is completely different i'm completely different like you know what i mean and with the higher five and the six of pentacles in reverse okay for some of you you all could be getting married or could just be getting into some kind of partnership with somebody whether this be career wise or whatever else you would get into a partnership for. So in in this partnership, um, you all are usually the person who is like very, very generous. You're usually the givers. And so in these new relationships or partnerships, marriage, whatever the case may be, I was hearing get with somebody who loves you more than you love them. So it's like the person or it could even be multiple people that are gonna be coming into your life um, or somebody that's already in your life is like the type of person that would just give to you, give to you, give to you, like, and really doesn't want anything from you in return. Like I said, you all are used to being the generous ones, sometimes to the point of overextending yourselves. Um, sometimes people are quick to, to act like you haven't done anything for them when you've really done so much. So now it's time for somebody to give to you and you will be able to really, really appreciate this. It'll be weird for you because you're not used to it, but you'll be able to really, really appreciate this just because you're usually on the giving end rather than the receiving end. Um, you, some of you could also be meeting a mentor that you've always looked up to or just a mentor that you instantly click click with upon meeting them and they will drop lots of gems on you to further your career or wherever whatever you're trying to do um they could also fund be funding you and whatever you're trying to do um funding your studies or whatever the case may be 
that could be happening for some of you. Um, and for some I'm hearing, they will fund you like with the intentions of getting like a percentage of whatever you're doing. Um, for others of you, it'll be like they will want their credit for how they've helped you. Um, but nothing to the point where you'll be like, oh, you don't want, you know, you will turn them down or anything. Like, they'll try to be sneaky with anything. Like, no, nothing like that. <laughs> um, others of you, if you have a company and you're looking for investors, you will get them. You will get lots of them, actually. Um, more than you'll know what to do with. <laughs> um, with the high priestess in death on the bottom of the deck, this just furthers the, like transformation that you'll be making and with the high priestess is like your intuition will be on fire and not just a year from now but it's already starting already leading you towards your path so like now if you're thinking like some of the decisions you're making or some of the ideas and dreams that you have if you're thinking like man that's too crazy that's wild or we won't be getting to that anytime soon you're wrong <laughs> okay your intuition is right and it's telling you look the sky is the limit really all right so let's get into some more oracles we have horse spirit freedom is yours yeah spirit is like don't limit your thinking because really you could have anything that you want anything that you want the person that you want to be there's so 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 much potential for the type of person that you could be because the seeds have already been planted and are continuing to grow. Um, we have co-create. And this is what I was saying about, and look at the owl. It's like, this is what I was saying about somebody like dropping gems on you or funding you or just watching over you being a mentor, like, cause they believe in um, what you're trying to do. They believe in your career, they believe in, you they believe in you <laughs> like you should be believing in you they believe in you we have community pal one you could be a loner right now and that isn't going to last for too much longer um and you some of you are introverts and i'm saying that you'll actually be becoming extroverts in a year from now it's like you guys are not necessarily introverts by choice it's like you're forced to be an introvert so whatever is blocking you from being this social butterfly that you really are those obstacles those blockages will be removed so that you can truly flourish and be the social butterfly that you truly want to be or that you truly are yeah, some of you could be fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, because I'm also getting this huge sense of like fire and passion. Um, but it's like, despite how you feel, you just, you avoid people like they're the plague. <laughs> and we have serendipity. You all will be very lucky. And like I said, I'm not even talking about just like in a year from now it's like it's already starting like to get to that point um although even if you're really going through the journey and going through the steps a year from now you're still going to be wondering like how in the world <laughs> how in the world did i get here because the things you're doing now will seem kind of small in the grand scheme of things you're kind of going to be like well what is the point of me even doing this will this even matter in the long run and the answer is yes Yes, it will. We have called soul gifts and training. It's time to step up. You all. You all spend a lot of time lowering your expectations. And it's also like time is a big worry for you. Like you guys think of time a lot and time is one of your most limiting beliefs. It's like you have these big, big, big ideas and because you're like, man, that's just gonna take so much time. And it's, you're like, do I, I don't even have, some of you are like, I don't even have the time to do this or 
you know, things of that nature, or I'm not getting any younger, or I don't, by the time I start this, you know, I'm not going to be making enough money or things of that nature. And this is a relationship wise. It's like, some of you are like, man, your fear like is what if I get into this and then they waste my time or what if I really get serious and then I'll have to start all over and that's going to take time. So it's like time is one of your biggest limiting beliefs and spirit is going to be showing you like, look, so much can be accomplished in no time at all. And time is relative. Time doesn't exist. And spirit is going to prove that to you. We have the courageous peony, multifaceted um, or faceted, unique nature. Let yourself be seen. This is what I was talking about with the uh, introverted energy. But you all seem to be like extroverts for real. It's like maybe you all aren't comfortable with yourselves as you are now. So it's like you're kind of you feel awkward around other people lots of times. You may feel like the odd one out could be an Aquarius. <laughs> you may feel like the odd one out more often than not. And that's what's preventing you from really going out and socializing. But Spirit is like, man, y'all are just too awesome for your own good that you can't even see it. <laughs> then we have mature, not a pushover. Every action doesn't need a reaction, but sometimes you can show them better than you can tell them. And that to me is another thing with how I was saying you all are very generous to the point of overextending yourselves. You all are definitely gonna be putting your foot down, showing that you know your worth, showing that you are confident, showing that you got options, like whether it be career or relationships, showing that you're not afraid to say no and start over or to find a new path, like showing that. Um, you're never going to let anybody feel like you need them, like you're uh, like they're your end all be all like you won't let anybody feel that way. And we have control change the narrative. What makes you in control is how you choose to react to what's going on around you. So there's like, like big, big mature energy, like controlling your reactions being mature but also like putting your foot down let's see the bottom of the decks so we have fall into my arms surrender holding the opposites extremes of life major major transformation very very extreme to where you'll go from being who you are to the opposite of yourself um we have earth school life lessons soul growth study higher learning this is why i was getting like some of you some somebody could be funding um your schooling or somebody could be teaching you where you're really like learning some stuff that you've always been interested in but never had the chance to really get into it and we have clean it up and no place like home <laughs> that's so funny because i was saying that you guys probably just avoid people like the plague you all are going to be feeling very at home within yourselves and with clean it up it's like even your home environment will change your whole aesthetic for your home may also change because it's like you're not going to be the same person the things that used to bring you comfort you won't even need them anymore you'll be like you probably won't even see the inside of your house much um in in a little while honestly and uh but yeah yeah you it's like i'm really seeing like the inside of someone's home like you know those shows where they revamp the person's house like that kind of thing like you all are gonna have a whole house makeover that you're gonna do uh yeah <laughs> so then we have peacock spirit let it shine and white raven spirit trust in the magic because like I was saying, you all just don't believe you can accomplish the big, big things that you want to accomplish, especially not in a year. You all are definitely not expecting that. <laughs> but you guys will realize that when you're just following your intuition, following your heart as well, like the peacock, like the heart center is illuminating. If you all just follow your heart, like you will definitely get to where you've always dreamt to be. And it can only go up from here. Some of you feel like, you know, 
it just you some of you are like really like afraid and that's why you stay away from people you stay away from like big opportunities because you're afraid that you'll be disappointed and a lot of you have honestly hit rock bottom recently so to be frank it can only go up from here and we have found you are whole and read it finding yourself determining the kind of person you want to be and realizing you already have everything you need to be that person you have the seeds now water them i was just saying that yeah. and we have experienced more life let yourself live embrace the good bad and ugly it's okay to be scared of the unknown but don't let that hold you back from enjoying your life and enjoyment is the big thing like just enjoying yourself and it's like all about enjoying yourself no matter who you're around this next like these next weeks months and up until this year from now is about enjoying yourself as who you are not who you are in a relationship not who you are at work but just who you are in your heart okay but I think that is all that I have for you today, my pal ones. If you're going to pick another pile, I will see you there. Like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to, maybe even share. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. What is up, my pal twos? If you chose Koala Spirit, Spirit has a plan. Then congratulations, you have found your pile. And we're just going to get right into where you will be a year from now. All right. So we have the Five of Swords which is ruled by Aquarius, okay? We have the Two of Pentacles, which is ruled by Capricorn. And we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So you could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. All right, and we have the Seven of Wands in the Page of Swords. Oh, Seven of Wands is ruled by Leo in the Page of Swords, okay. So, how to you all are going to be fighting for your lives in a year from now now this will be i'm not saying literally fighting for your life like <laughs> um but this actually it might sound bad but this is actually going to be really really good for you okay in a year from now with this five of swords you're going to be bringing up all the topics people are too scared or too prideful to talk about um and it this is um in regards to you so like anything anybody has ever done to you in the past anything um anyone has ever done that's like been wrong towards you anytime anyone has ever crossed a boundary with you anytime anyone has not returned the same energy you gave them back those are going to be the types of things you're going to be addressing now considering this is very confrontational energy in a year from now i'm just going to go ahead and assume that you all are not very confrontational people or it's just that you would rather not especially when it comes to the people you really really care about okay when it comes to the people you really really care about you all may hold back a whole lot um now with the two of pentacles this is going to be it's, and with the Five of Swords too, it's like you all are going to be cutting off a lot of people. And a year from now, either you're going to be cutting off a lot of people or those people are already going to be cut. And you're just going to be finalizing like the separation between you and whoever got cut off, whoever didn't make the playoffs. They're going to be sitting on the bench getting waiting to get escorted out, okay? <laughs> um, and when, so with the Two of Pentacles, it's like, you are going to be doing this by yourself but it's going to be so good for you um this sort of independence like capricorn is very you know i can do it i can do it by myself i can do bad all by myself like anything i can do it by myself <laughs> like i can handle it and you'll be learning how to balance things by yourself and for yourself and this will be a time where you'll really be just thinking all about you thinking about how you want to do things putting yourself first taking the lead on things and with the ace of cups in reverse you all are not pulling no punches y'all are not playing any games when it comes to people anymore i won't say your heart is turning cold because i don't that's not the type of energy i get it's just that you're a lot more reserved and you are not 
going to settle for just anything and also it's like some of you i'm hearing are were very quick to jump into relationships or you all may have been the type to just accept anybody or you were the type who made excuses for people and really just would continue being friends or in a relationship with somebody because you could see their potential and now it's like you're not for none of that you're like as soon as you show me something that i don't like as soon as i see a red flag i'm taking it as just that a red flag and i'm getting out of dodge the flags will no longer be orange to you like none of that and like the reason i said like you'll be fighting for your life is because of the seven of uh because of the seven of wands it's like you all really will be just letting everyone have it unleashing your wrath essentially you all are declaring war with yourself as your only fighter um and with the page of swords this will be quite new to you like just this energy of sticking up for yourself it's like now you'll always have some i mean uh not now <laughs> in a year from now you'll always be having something to say always be sticking up for yourself and not only just for yourself i'm getting the feeling um which is why koala spirit sphere has a plan it's kind of like to reassure you when you start going through all of this stuff going through all of this confrontation having to really because it's like spirit's probably going to be showing you things that people are doing and it's just going to irritate you so much or people are gonna you're gonna really be feeling wronged like you're gonna be feeling like everybody's attacking you or nobody is really with you and so in that case spirit is gonna be like okay well if they're not with you then why are you with them okay but this is all to say that spirit is like hey we have a plan so don't get too discouraged with all these people dropping off okay don't get too discouraged because this is only making room for more people in your life that actually belong and this time your discernment will be that much better that much better okay let's get some oracle some more oracle so we have otter spirit you are never alone and that's the thing spirit that's why they're saying they have a plan because they're like look you have us we are right there with you you are not alone in this and you will not be alone for that much longer and it's like some somebody if not just one person multiple people will be watching you with the intentions of getting close to you because you're gonna have such a different aura around you this boss dominant energy about you this um you know no is a full sentence kind of energy about you that you know people will just be naturally attracted to you so in that case spirit is also telling you like hey you're really not alone like you may feel like just because all these people you know you have to cut off or all these people kind of fell off and because you feel you know you'll be busy as well still having to keep up with responsibilities and you'll probably use your responsibilities or your career as something to kind of distract you from all the mess as well not to avoid it but a healthy distraction and so you won't even be feeling these eyes on you we have by the book so this is like you know it's about time that you kind of buckle down and it's like i'm hearing i'm just gonna have to do this the hard way because that's what it's about it's like it's pro it's pretty textbook like if somebody does something to you you retaliate and so that's kind of the energy you're going into you're like okay we're just gonna have to do this the hard way we're gonna have to do this by the book next time somebody disrespects me next time i feel attacked next time i feel like my boundaries are being crossed i'm gonna put my foot down right then and there um and it's like you all are really like you're not a baby elephant anymore okay you guys are <laughs> graduating to the big big elephant okay and some of you also may have kids and so the thing with this is you'll also be sitting like and i'm not i'm really not hearing like little kids i'm hearing more like preteen teen teenagers but if you do have toddlers and okay that too <laughs> but i'm really hearing for preteens and teenagers where you'll be setting a really good example for your kids on boundaries and sticking up for themselves um and we have come to the edge to you it's 
you all are retaliating and fighting in so many different situations could even be career which is why it's like a lot of this is a risk some of you all bite your tongue because you're like there there are things at stake here like i can't just be saying whatever whenever just because my feelings are hurt and it's like now you're gonna be like yeah yes i can actually <laughs> like if you're in a job and they've been treating you bad or you know messing around with your money oh yeah you you you're gonna snap you're gonna be like i don't care i don't need this job i'll get another one <laughs> um and trust spirit will be right behind you um for those of you that do decide to um quit a job or something like that um spirit will be right behind you with lots of opportunities new job offers promotions even and things of that nature and we have breathe so this is important there you all are it's gonna feel like a, a breath of fresh air when you just cut out all this drama in your life and you set firm boundaries because that's another thing with this is like when you start to retaliate and stand up for yourself you'll really come to terms with what your true boundaries are and when you come to terms with that you will feel so much better because you're like oh my gosh like this is my guideline this is my guideline for life if anything crosses these boundaries be it a career a person a place a thing any noun if anything crosses these boundaries they have to go if the kids cross my boundaries they got nice plan <laughs> but yeah so you'll feel uh like a weight lifted off of you because it is a responsibility but it won't be such a responsibility that's always in the forefront of your mind it's like you can relax because you know your boundaries for sure so it's like as soon as somebody oversteps it'll be like an alarm blares and you're like oh yeah it's time for you to go we have the cosmic heart devotion potency make your life a moving prayer so you all could be oh you all could be really getting into um affirmations like speaking out affirmations or if you read the bible saying certain verses um just to get your day started or to end your day or both and it's like now you're really devoted to yourself. You're devoted to making your life comfortable because um, and to realize that, you know, nothing is worth you being unhappy. You're like, I'm doing all this so that I can, you know, so my life can be easier so that my life I can be calm so that I can live. And you're like, none of that is happening. I'm not happy. I'm stressed out. <laughs> so you're like, yeah, this has to change. Um, it's you're like, cause really, you're like, what can I lose? If we're being honest, if I'm already stressed, I already, I already don't like my situations. What can I lose? What more? <laughs> and we have double mission: light worker, star seed, serve the world by being you. Absolutely, some of you could be um getting really good at doing your makeup in a year from now or um you'll just be good at doing it in a year from now some of you will be doing a big chop um and your hair will be in a really nice shortcut um yeah <laughs> but yeah the double mission absolutely serve the world by being you that's what this is all about you spent so long trying to appease other people whether it's for the benefit of something else in your life or not it's like you allow too many things to slide and now you even doubling back like remember that time in 2014 when you did this <laughs> yeah i still remember we have fear isn't a true reflection of you like the pests that attack the leaves and roots of a plant fear has made you wilt and turn faded colors of what you once were yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. You all will be getting brought right back to life, okay? Huge weight off your shoulders. We have honor your needs. Stand on the boundaries you set and leave no room for anyone to disregard those boundaries. What did I say, y'all? <laughs> Let's look at the bottom of the decks, okay? We have dolphin spirit, this and that are true. So with this and that are true, it's giving me like 
some of you, like I was saying about how you all are very sweet and allow more from the people that you care about. Um, I'm hearing like when they tell you like, oh, but I really do love you or oh, I care about you or oh, this, oh, that. You're going to be like, yeah, you can care about me. But the fact of the matter is you clearly don't respect me or the fact of the matter is you cannot be there for me in the way that I need you to be there for me. Or and the fact of the matter is um, you have no regard for anyone's emotions but your own. So therefore, you have to go. So it's like, yeah, they can care for you and still be bad for you. This and that are true. <laughs> and we have giraffe spirits see the bigger picture or see the big picture, my fault. Um, which is also like I was saying about spirit has a plan. It's like spirit knows that you're going to be kind of going through the ringer, <laughs> but they want you to keep an open mind and think about like, hey, just think about, you know, how free you're going to feel or how free you're already feeling. You're getting a lot of stuff off your chest. We have blessed and truth be told. Hello. Hello. No explanation needed. We have the seven star sisters, birthing creations, tapestry of life and expression. I feel like that doesn't need um, any explanation either. You're going to be expressing yourself. And with all this newfound energy, you definitely could be putting this energy into some new projects, whether that just be hobbies or actual like career plans. And we have, I'm sorry, defenselessness, writing past wrongs, uprooting. Exactly that. And the I'm sorry, the apology is more towards yourself. Like you're going to be apologizing to yourself and forgiving yourself for allowing so many things for really not giving yourself the energy that you gave other people all right and we have vulnerability is a gift being in tune with your emotions and wanting to share them with others is not a weakness embrace your heart don't let it turn cold wasn't i just saying you all weren't letting it turn cold you all were just gonna be you know observant and keep your expectations high not settling Oh, rewind. Remember your reason. You've lost sight of your vision. You're running, but not sure what you're running to or from. Stop for a moment and remember why you started this in the beginning. Exactly that. You all are going to be doubling back thinking, is this is this really worth it? That's what you're going to be asking yourself. Is this worth it? How does this person contribute to my life? What does this person do for me? How do they make me feel better? Do they make me feel better? And that is where you're going to be in a year from now. Okay, pal two, I think that is all that I have for you today. If you're going to pick another pile, I will see you there. Like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to, maybe even share. And I will see y'all next time. Bye. What is up, my pal threes? If you chose Turtle Spirit, Slow and Steady wins the race, then congratulations. You have found your pile. And we're just going to get right into where you will be in one year from now. So first we have the Knight of Wands. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles. So fire sign and earth sign energy. Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. And we have Judgment, ruled by Scorpio. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the Two of Swords, which is ruled by Libra. And we have the World, which is ruled by Saturn. Capricorn and Aquarius, but could also be one of these fixed signs, Scorpio, Aquarius, Taurus, or Leo. All right. <laughs> okay, so, pile three. In a year from now, you will be slowing way, way down. You will be pumping the brakes. And for a lot of you, I'm getting, you will be restarting. Um essentially your whole like way of doing things in life which will basically make you feel like you've started life all over again um for most of you there's a sense of relationships like starting over in your relationships some of you this is like unimaginable right now you're like there's no way <laughs> like no way i'm starting over or no way the relationship I have now is going to go bad. And, you know, it's not even... Some of you 
have those very pessimistic thoughts some of you have the i uh that couldn't be me mindset like couldn't be me type of mindset when you see other people's relationships or things of that nature but um with the knight of pentacles it's like aside from slow and steady wins the race you all will be pumping the brakes and taking measured baby steps now with judgment here it's like with judgment and the knight of wands it's giving like spirit will basically pick you up and place you somewhere completely different or they will literally just turn you around the opposite way like the way you're running now spirit will be turning you the opposite way and will be like okay this is the way you have to go like this is the way you have to go some of you are very stubborn and will literally bum rush your way through lessons that spirit is like hey we need you to learn this <laughs> some of you would just bum rush your way right through um some of you are very y'all are very sassy like um so somehow you all are able to i say this is quite the superpower but somehow y'all are able to change situations around a lot of you it's like will say things don't really bother you and you can actually convince yourself that they don't bother you and so you kind of avoid it like you guys are rip you guys be ripping and running basically so because you all keep yourself so busy always on the go always doing the next thing always on to the next person it's like you never really allow yourself that time to sit and think about like what's really been happening so spirit is going to make you sit and think <laughs> that's how you've been able to like kind of I want to say avoid like the lessons or avoid the the pain basically it's like you're like no i'm just gonna keep keep running but spirit is like no we we need to have a sit down okay we need we need you to address some things this is for the better and with the two of swords it's like even when in a year from now you this won't even be a checkpoint for how much better things can get it's like you'll have a whole a clean slate basically it'll be a clean slate in a year from now for you to really put forth your best effort and like think about okay what is it that i truly want like what is it that i really want am i selling myself short by wanting things super quick because a lot of you are very very impatient and with the world here it's like these things it's like a lot of what you want is basically a long time coming like you were been supposed to have them but because you kind of bum rush your way through lessons and you kind of just go 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 you never had the time to just sit and like so that spirit can give you your christmas present basically <laughs> that's hilarious it's not funny but it's funny um so yeah spirit is basically like okay slow and steady wins the race like you're being the rabbit right now just running and running and running although even the rabbit was you know he took that nap and that's how he lost but it's like you all don't never sit down don't never take a nap like nothing you all are just on the go constantly sit down please <laughs> well spirit gonna make y'all sit down so i ain't even gotta tell y'all that oracle here we go here we go we got coyote spirit trust and divine detours yeah that's what i was talking about um spirit gonna get y'all all the way together <laughs> um and spirit like they love your fiery nature like your passion your go go go-ness that yang energy but you need to have balance so it's like i'm sure the reason they let you get away with this for so long because this is how you have been, this is how you've been for a while so that's why i was saying at the beginning like this feels like a whole new life is because you all have been doing this for a very long time you've been in that kind of energy for a very long time and it's like spirit loved that about you and they realized that for a lot of you that was like a fight or flight response is to naturally be in this yang assertive go 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 can never sit down energy but they're like now times are changing and the things that you want you got to have that balance you got to have that yin and that yang you got to be able to sit down be receptive accept like you know what i mean so they're going to give you those divine divine detours so that you can you know sit and ponder sometimes sit and contemplate <laughs> and enjoy the blessings they'll finally be able to give you the things that you want 
that you've been wanting where you don't feel like, okay, I got to go out and get them. I just got to go out and get it. Like, I got to get it by myself, for myself. <laughs> we have never ending story. See, this is kind of how it's been. It's like, you all get the same result. Like, that's what I'm saying. You guys run into the same, you all run into the same situations and people and problems over and over and over again. Um, and it has very much seemed like a never ending story, but spirit is going to be cutting that short. I'm sure something like a big tower moment, something big will be happening to where that'll be like the, like, say you're playing Jenga, you know, that game where you're stacking the blocks and one person pulls out, the next person pulls out the block, you know, from different places. It's like a block will be pulled out that will just finally make the whole thing crumble to where you'll be like, okay, I'm listening, Spear. Okay, what are we doing? Like, I'm starting over? Okay, cool. I don't know that y'all would be saying, okay, cool, but, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. And we have time for a nap. Didn't I tell y'all to go take a nap? Yeah. Well, I was telling y'all to go sit down, but yeah. Please go take a nap. You all just do everything but <laughs> but take a nap. Be tired as I don't know what. Um, so in a year from now, you will be a big nap taker because I'm sensing that you all have been running away from your thoughts. I said you all run away from pain, but yeah, your thoughts. So that, you know, thinking does take a lot of energy and you dealing with all of the thoughts and really trying to clear your clear your path, clear the slate. That's going to make you pretty tired uh, and actually like um, also dealing, you know, continuing to deal with your responsibilities because people got responsibilities. You know, life doesn't go on hold for you to deal with your troubles, sadly. So you're still going to have to deal with your responsibilities. So you all are going to be tired, like tired, tired to where it's going to be difficult to ignore. So you're going to have to start taking naps. That might make you feel some type of way, but you ain't really got no choice. You probably going to sit down like, okay, I'm going to rest for five minutes and be gone for about three hours. And we got milk and honey here. Ooh, very, very happy time. So this is what I'm saying. It's like, you will really be able to actually bask in your blessings that you were that you've been wanting that you were convinced were running from you and that's why you were chasing so hard that's what you were running to so hard you're like i gotta go get these blessings because clearly clearly they're running from me like no once you sit down you slow down then they're going to start rolling in and you'll really be able to enjoy them and bask in them without having you know those thoughts of okay this is going to end soon or things are going to go bad soon or what's next what's next like you know because that's how you all think currently you're always like wondering when something will go bad wondering what's going to happen next wondering like who's going to upset you i'm even hearing for some of y'all we have you got the love hadrian energy codependency and boundaries and for those of you where this is talking about like relationship things, you all will very much be setting boundaries where you all will be taking the talking stage or that friendship stage that, you know, dating the casual dating stage. You will be taking that very seriously where you're like, hey, we really got to get to know each other. Like, I'm not just about to jump into a relationship with you. And you're going to make it clear that, hey, like, I want a long-term relationship. I want this, this, this. I want kids. I want a house. White picket fence. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? For some of you, I'm hearing you're going to be like, hey, I'm not a housewife. So don't expect that kind of energy. For some of you, you all are going to be like, yes, I'm a housewife. And I expect to be supported. Um, some of you all are house husbands. <laughs> Whatever the case may be for you, you all are going to be setting everything straight and really going to be valuing your space and telling your the person or the people who you are interested in like hey i need my space so that there won't be any codependency so that there won't be you know any misunderstandings and we have i'm sorry defenselessness riding past wrongs and uprooting very much uprooting 
some of you all for maybe like for a few weeks you know um leading i won't say even leading up to this year from now but just whenever this i remember i was saying the tower moment or when all the jenga blocks fall when things finally like hit the head and fall apart it's like it's gonna take you a few weeks and that's being like generous but because some of you are very quick to it i want to say it's like a few weeks here and there it's like it's gonna be a few weeks and then maybe some days will pass or maybe even a month will pass and then another few weeks where you're just really sitting and understanding everything that has been happening coming to terms with things in yourself within your life reminiscing all those things it's like but it's gonna feel very like it's like grief you all are going to be experiencing grief at different points different moments some of you it won't be separated it'll be like for some months you'll just be going through it but this will really be good for you because like i said you'll be coming out of this a whole new person all right and we have goosebumps daydreams and nightmares invest less energy into your nightmares and more energy into your daydreams you have the power to choose which one you want to manifest yep i was just, i was saying that you all you know you be thinking about that like who's gonna who's gonna make me mad next I bet they're, <laughs> you all are very like suspicious, paranoid. That's what you all, you all are paranoid. Very, very paranoid. And, you know, rightfully so, because like I said, you all run into the same situations over and over again. So you have the right to be suspicious and paranoid, but it's like, oh, you don't, you don't, you stop and think like, hmm, I just know this is gonna go wrong. It's not even you stop and think as you're running. You're thinking like, oh, this is going to go wrong eventually. But you don't stop and think like, why is this going to go wrong again? <laughs> so now you all are going to be investing energy into those kinds of thoughts. Like, okay, what do I need to learn? What do I need to do? What needs to change? We have growth is happening. If you watch a plant 24-7, you won't see how tall it's grown. Water it when needed. Leave it alone and watch how surprised you'll be at its growth. In you all's case, I'm actually hearing the opposite. I'm hearing like spirit is encouraging you like, yes, sit down and watch your plants grow day by day. Some of you, this is literal. Some of you will be getting a plant and will be amazed by its growth. I'm hearing money tree or something of that nature. But yeah, um, I'm hearing cactus also for some of you. But yeah, I'm hearing like spirit is like, no, sit down watch that plant grow <laughs> like okay because all you guys do is rip and run like if if this was about you all it would be like okay you planted the seeds and then you left for a year and your plants just they're all you know wilted and brown and <laughs> it's just like they didn't get a chance so they didn't get no love because you're gone all the time you know what i mean so spirit is like actually encouraging you to be there okay be present let's look at the bottom of the decks in the bottom of the deck we have paris spirit watch your words and spider spirit make your dreams real yeah please watch your words don't be so pessimistic especially when things start to make a turnaround do not bring that same energy into your new life okay we have the golden children inner child tenderness innocence rare gifts inner child makes me think of new life like you all will be going back that far like for some of you it is that deep like inner child deep where you have to go and do some inner child healing and we have a new earth it's happening keep holding the vision more new life like you all are really just starting over spirit is giving you another chance Spirit is giving you a chance to be the receiver instead of the go-getter. We have new life and message in a bottle. And this is the message in a bottle is what I feel like your tower moment will be or like this divine detour or this divine intervention that spirit is going to be doing. That will be your message in a bottle that will be like, hey, things have to change. And of course, new life, what I've been saying this whole time. And so we have darkness is your guide. 
it's not easy to see the light while in the light but it's easy to see the light while in the dark yeah like i was saying some of you aren't really gonna like having to start over too much but you'll soon realize that it was for the best and we have mature not a pushover every action doesn't need a reaction but sometimes you can show them better than you can tell them and exactly that heavy on the showing instead of telling some of you are very very argumentative and I love that you all stand up for yourselves, and so does Spirit. But they're like, hey, it's enough talk. It's time to get down with get down with the get down. It's time to put your money where your mouth is. And this is something that you all have no problem doing, as is. So they're like, you know, we're not going to feed into any more of the crap. But I think that is all that I have for you today, my pile threes. If you're going to pick another pile, I will see you there. Like if you want to, comment if you want to, subscribe if you want to, maybe even share. And I will see y'all next time. Bye.